Hi there! Today's video is about the most likable note in perfumes and I'm talking about vanilla. If you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome! Today's video is about vanilla which is one of my most favorite notes in perfumes. It was such a mission for me to narrow this into 10 perfumes because I have a lot of them in my collection. But for me, these are my absolute 10 vanilla perfume recommendations. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get this video started. I have divided um, this 10 perfumes into three categories, by the way. So um, I divided them into gourmand, um, sweet, and my favorite, green and fresh vanilla. Yeah, so I'm going to start with gourmand vanillas since we are in the winter time right now. And um, I must say that these are the must-wear um, kind of vanillas this season. The very famous, of course, Lyra by Zerdloff. Mm. This is lemon cheesecake. I'm just going to say it. Right off the bat, this is a citrusy, caramelly vanilla. Mm. You get in the opening that blood orange and lavender. Mm. This is delectable. Um, really perfect for the holiday season, I must say. Love, I love this perfume. I highly recommend for gourmand lovers out there. And for sure, if you're a gourmand lover, you definitely have this already in your collection. Um, yeah, so that is Lyra. Uh, sweet and delightful and just perfect for the holiday season. Oh, by the way, the longevity and projection of that one is good. Lasts around six to eight hours. Next, the second perfume in this gourmand vanilla um, category is Bois Dore by Van Cleef and Arpel. Mm, oh my god, this is so beautiful, guys. This is that creamy vanilla with tonka bean tobacco, uh, woods, and with a base of musk. It has an addicting quality to it, I must say. And just so intoxicating. This to me is like, a, like vanilla ice cream topped with almond syrup. It's so intoxicating. Um, this doesn't have a very good projection though, but you're gonna smell it uh, on yourself the whole day. And um, yeah, it's just so enveloping. I love this scent. Um, yeah, Bois Dore, another perfect gourmand vanilla to be used in the winter time. All right, so now we are going to the sweet uh, kind of vanilla. And in this category, I only have one because I'm not really a fan of a sweet vanilla. All right, and I have here Coco Vanille by Mancera. Coco Vanille is my favorite coconut and vanilla combo perfume. This smells like 
an island getaway. Definitely that island girl vibe. It has coconut, peach, tiare, and ilang ilang that will literally transport you to an island. Um, yeah, this is my favorite of them all. I have tried a lot of cocoa, coconut vanilla uh, perfume. And to me, this, for me, this is the best. The best that I have tried. Because it's not screechy. It didn't give me um, that Santan lotion vibe as well. I feel like a beautiful island girl walking by the beach um, when I have this on. Yeah, so that is Cocovany by Mancera, my only sweet vanilla in this video. So now we are proceeding to my favorite kind of vanilla, which is the green and fresh kind of vanilla. I'm gonna start off this uh, category with um, a designer fragrance, Dior Addict. Of course, it has to be here because to me, this is one of the best white floral and vanilla combo that you can have. It's so nice, guys. Um, this has orange blossom, I think. Mm. And mixed with that green vanilla. Um, it is very potent, very strong. It doesn't have that typical orange blossom vanilla combo that you will find in a lot of designer fragrance because this has a green vanilla in it it's not a sweet vanilla um this is one of my favorite special occasion perfume perfumes and mm, because this has a beast mode performance as well i must say that you have to be careful when using this because this has a tendency to uh smell cloying if you overspray so um yeah two to four sprays i think and then you will be covered for the whole day um yeah so that is dior addict and i think this is the only designer fragrance in this in this video um perfect white floral vanilla combo next um perfume to me is my easy grab vanilla and I'm talking about Eau Duel by Diptyque. This for me is that aromatic green vanilla that is dry as well and a little bit musky. This has juniper and bergamot and cardamom in the opening. So it starts off very fresh, but the dry down actually, you're gonna get that um, green vanilla and just dry and aromatic. I love it. I love this perfume for just like daily routine. Um, it's an easy grab. I feel like it's very likable vanilla as well. Um, just that the longevity and projection is not that great. Let's say around um, four to six hours and very moderate projection and sillage. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. I always imagine like a pretty girl wearing this. So that is Eau Duel by Tic Tic. Your daily vanilla. Um, next perfume is one of my 
favorite um, perfumes in my collection actually and this is Saint Albany by the Seven Virtues. This has an addicting coconut milk in it. It's so good. Mm. And of course, as the name says, Saint Albany, this has two of my most favorite notes in a fragrance, sandalwood and vanilla. Uh, this is just so creamy and another cocooning perfume. If you love sandalwood and vanilla, you have to try this one out. This has coconut milk as well, cardamom, olibanum. It is, uh, I don't know how to say it, but I always feel excited every time I wear this. Um, I must say that it doesn't have a beast mode projection, but I feel like just sniffing myself every time I wear this. Mm. This is like a combo of Santal 33 and Gris Chanel. And since I'm not a fan of Gris Chanel and a massive fan of Santal 33, this one is really a hit for me. Um, the kind of coconut that is in here is a coconut that you want to wear during fall and winter time. It's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, so Santavani, my favorite sandalwood vanilla combo. Right, the next perfume is for me the most luxurious vanilla that i have ever tried and i only have a sample size it's still on my wish list until now and hopefully by next month i'll have a full bottle because spoiler we are going to dubai um yeah anyway the next perfume is material by amawaj i have discussed this perfume a lot in my channel if you love resinous amber incense and spicy vanilla you are gonna love this one that it just smells like a rich person yeah this smells like money um, as I mentioned in my uh, in my other video this is the kind of perfume that a first-class passenger will wear. Uh, very, very elegant vanilla. A must-try. This is very expensive as well. So I recommend you trying first. Because still, I must say that this is not for everyone. But if you are into niche perfumes, you will definitely love this one. Yeah, material by Amwatch. Now we are down into the last three. These uh, three perfumes are my sexy green vanillas. And I will start off with Nishane Ani. Hmm. Oh my god. This is warm spicy green vanilla this perfume just screams confidence this has ginger bergamot cardamom rose and some sandalwood cedar and of course vanilla in the base and it's just another sexy vanilla perfume i love it Mm, definitely warm, seductive, and sexy vanilla. The next perfume is the sexiest vanilla though. So, Nishane is sexy and alluring. Then, then this one, absolute aphrodisiac, is 
in a different level. Another very unique perfume. This has vanilla, amber, leather, musk, and some animalic notes in it. Mm. This has to be worn during winter because it has that animalic vibe in it but i love it um you will you will feel the beauty of this perfume in the dry down you know because that animalic um, note is just peeking through under mm, so sexy definitely as well a date night perfume if you have a plan you know <laughs> mm, very musky animalic oh, and sexy um yeah so that is absolute aphrodisiac by Inicio. so now we reach to the end and i literally saved this for last because this is my favorite vanilla I must say of all time and I'm talking about Herod by Perfumes de Marley this to me mm, is is another me in a bottle oh god I really love this one this has cinnamon pepper tobacco Oh, vanilla, of course, musk, vetiver, and ISOE super. Just sexy yet friendly vibe as well. Yeah, this is a perfume of that famous girl who uh, everyone wants to be friends with, but they are not sure if she's approachable or not. And then suddenly they got to know her. Then she is a vibe. She is someone that will crash a Whitney Houston song if you bring her in a karaoke. Yeah, that is the vibe of this perfume. Um, I know this is marketed for men. However, in my opinion, this is very unisex and a woman can definitely rock this perfume. To me, this is the best tobacco and vanilla perfume that I have ever tried. Um, if you're the type who's scared of tobacco in perfumes, you have to try this. Herod, my ultimate a favorite vanilla perfume so i want to know what is your favorite vanilla perfume please let me know and write me down in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed watching that's it for today bye